following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we oh. have. It's a beautiful day. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We are taken by storm. Taken by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good, man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Amazon. Amazon numbers coming out after the close. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 36, NASDAQ up 58, SPs up one and a half, gold contract up $10.10, trading at 1505 an ounce. We have silver up 26 cents, $17.84 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up 24 cents, 56 dollars 21 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get them both flat. The 10 years trading at 129.07. The 30 year at 160 flat. And King Dollar. King Dollar up 148 ticks, trade 97, 639. The euro is at 111. The yen is at 108.62. And the pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? I get the futures up here right now. We've had a high out here today inside the future market of 3015 A low of 2988 And bottom line is that the market's having a tough time just holding price up at these levels. What we've had... Thus far, at the open, you know, you had the, you popped at the open, you got all the way up to 3,015, then just gave it up, and you know, hour and a half later, you were down at uh, 29.98. Nice bounce off that level, and then another sell down. You can see both of these sell downs are pretty intense, folks. You know, the, the first sell down had uh, 58,000 contracts, the second sell down had 24,000. So the way that this is acting out here, it would be saying that, okay, as we come into this close, you can be at the lower end of this consolidation. It's only about seven points down, about the 3,000 level. NQs. We're going to take a look at the NQs out here, what the NQs had out here this morning, that, is that they were the strongest, and bottom line is that uh, they also just couldn't handle price. Um, you know, they, they got up to the price point of 79.78, and then that was... Uh, well, that was at noon, actually. Yeah, this is the, 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 yeah, the, Q, the Q's actually got, got it into a higher price. Let me pull this back again. Make sure I get this right. Yeah, it was 12 o'clock. So the Q's got up to 79.78. Pulls back. Right now, you're at 79.62. Now, this is the level, if it can stay over this level, you know, bottom line, you can go higher. This, this is the level that the battle line is set up at. So we'll see where that shakes out. If we go inside the NDX 100, take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. What you're going to see is that we have Tesla is up 16.5%. Uh, Align Technology is up 15%. Lamb Research is up 12.5%. And Ollie, um, O'Reilly Automotive is up 8.5%. Take it away from it. You got eBay down 9.5%. You get Fox off 3.5%. And you get Hasbro down 
Uh, 3%. That's another big hit on Hasbro. Let me see this on Hasbro. Yeah, it continues lower. Man, Hasbro last Friday was a $119 stock, and right now you're at $96. And let me put this up here. One second. Where's that? The, uh, there we go. Some of the higher volume equities out here. This will be, once again, a low volume market, folks, at these highs. Uh, you get, uh, Ford's getting smacked. That's down 59 cents trade, $8.62. Twitter's off 8.21. They come out with the numbers last night. The market didn't like the numbers. That's trading $30 right now. You get Ma Bell off a of buck 15. That's kind of interesting. That's a big move for Ma Bell. Uh, Tesla, Tesla's a big number. Tesla up 42. Uh, dollars they come in with the profit versus the loss trading two hundred and ninety seven dollars you got micron tech up two to two bucks paypal uh come in with some numbers it's a dead cat bounce but that's up eight dollars trading 105 uh ebay just the opposite downtown at uh 375 trading 35 dollars and 45 cents now let's go over the the pound as well as the euro because we got brexit still uh basically uh happening here and what you had out here with, today with the uh, British pound, uh, that got to a low of the 127. We, we're at 128 right now. That's saying it still wants higher price. Uh, we're getting the same movements inside the euro. The euro is moving with the pound now. Um, what it did up here today is that the, yeah, it's almost the exact same movement. Uh, the, the euro does look more bearish than the pound, though, just on a short-term basis. You know, we had a spread today in the euro of 111.63 to 110.93. That's, that's quite a spread, uh, no doubt, when you're taking a look at it. But we're off to as lows of uh, 108. If we go take a look at the dollar, of course, what ends up happening, as the pound moves higher, as the euro moves higher, all that would send the pound, the dollar lower. But just the opposite, uh, meaning if, you, the, they, if they go lower, the dollar's going to go higher, and that's what we have out here today. There's the spread in the dollar. 97.283 to 97.777. And that was, you got Mario Draghi, Draghi out here. This was his last um, meeting. And uh, they bet bottom line, they kept uh, rates right where they, they have been. Not much, uh, well, there was, there was action inside of the currencies, but that, that was about it. 877 927 6648. We go take a look at the uh, oil market. We'll go take a look at the XLE out here. What we have with the XLE right now, uh, got to a high today of 59.67. You're at 58.87. That's also having a hard time getting through the downdraft, uh, not just of the last uh, four or five months, but specifically the downdraft of October 1st. That's when we went from 59 to 57. We got the 59 again. Right now you're at uh, 58.88. We go take a look at the financials, the XLF. What do we have inside those financials? Because we're going to have the Fed meeting uh, coming next week, folks. Financials is laying at the highs. It's down three cents, but realistically, right at those highs, the 28 highs, $28.50. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.